357 versus 9 millimeter. Time to do another test. You know, I hear about it a lot how the 9 millimeter is just as good as the 357 Magnum. So I thought I'd use some ammunition that seems to be fairly fair when it comes to comparing these two cartridges here. Uh, Hornady American Gunner. Now this is a 125 grain magnum. It's rated at 1500 feet per second. Whether we'll see that or not out of that four inch barrel is yet to be determined. That is a 124 grain plus P9 millimeter rated at 1175 feet per second. So we'll see if uh, the nine millimeter in this, in this particular test, pushing it to a plus P is going to match that 357 magnum. So we'll see what kind of velocity numbers we get. We'll hit some water jugs and some wood and I'll throw a couple targets or I'll throw a couple of rounds at that target over there. See what kind of accuracy I'm getting from about six yards. Uh, so let's get started with the chronograph numbers and see, see where they stand. All right, we're about six yards from the chronograph. Let's see how the nine millimeter plus P does. 1,161. 1,147. 1161 again. 1145. 1144. So a little bit less than the advertised out of this particular four inch barrel. But, you know, it's pretty close. All right, let's see what we get the 357 Magnum if we come close to that 1500 feet per second. 1263. 1290, 1231, 1229, very consistent velocity, but where they got the number 1500, I don't know. So that's um, close to 250 feet per second less. Nonetheless, let's see how they compare when we hit water jugs and wood, because there's a little bit more energy with this Magnum. And let's see how we do. Right, I'm going to run a few rounds at that target about seven yards, see what kind of accuracy we're getting. Got a nine millimeter. We'll go right for the dead center at. Well, the first one was on. I pulled the other two a little bit. Still pretty good. All right, let's try the Magnum, double action. We'll go for the number nine right above that. 1, I took the center out of the nine. Same <laughs> hole. A little bit to the right. So the accuracy is good, a little bit better with the Magnum. We'll see what happens when we hit water jugs and wood. All right, here's that 9mm American Gunner. We'll see what it does through four layers of denim and water jugs. All right. First jug, has gone. Jug two, pretty good damage. Jug three. Right through jug four. It looks like we got a, uh, a dent out the jug back of jug four. That's pretty good. And here we are with that nine millimeter bullet. Uh, we got slight jacket separation. It's starting to pull off, but overall good expansion. Uh, not the best I've ever seen, but it's, it's decent. Um, so that's what we're getting with the nine millimeter plus P. Let's try the 357 Magnum and see how that compares. Alright, let's see how the 357 Magnum compares. <laughs> I ain't used to that trigger. Okay. There's the first jug. That's uh that's pretty bad. Jug two, jug three, jug four. It's in jug four, uh, just like the the nine millimeter plus P, but the fifth jug has a significant dent in it, so a little bit more, not by much. And here's the 357 Magnum. Compare that to the 9mm, and really there's 
there's not a big difference. We see a little bit more um, deformation of the lead with the magnum. But uh, overall size is about the same. Um, really not much difference there and pretty similar penetration. So let's hit the wood and see how that does. All right, let's see what it does to two or four two by fours. We'll hit it kind of high. See how, see if it throws it. <laughs> I could see the bullet right now. That is interesting. I'm not even sure how this happened. My mind is uh, stumped right now. Something's turned around, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, we can see kind of what happened, I think. Okay, here we go. That's what happened. One, two, three. It's in the fourth board. In the fourth board. <laughs> that's really pretty good, actually. Uh, that's pretty good uh, penetration. I'm going to try to put this back together. Well, I'm going to take the bullet out if I can. All right, I got the bullet out of the wood. A um, little bit of deformation, but not much. So let's see what happens when I hit the 357 Magnum into the wood. All right. Well, we got exits out of three boards, at least that. I gotta look at the fourth. And here's the fourth board. It's in there at least halfway in, and here's the 9mm. So just like in the wood, or in the water, we saw the same thing with the wood. Almost identical, just a little bit more. Um, overall, my, my opinion of this ammo, that is, that is not good performance for that particular 357 Magnum. With a 125 grain bullet, we should see at least 1,450 feet per second velocity out of that 4 inch barrel like I've seen with a lot of other loads. That is very, very low end as far as uh, a 357 Magnum. Typically we see that kind of velocity out of a snub nose revolver, but we're getting out of a four inch. That's bad. Um, the nine millimeter, like anything else American Gunner, it's a little bit less than advertised. But overall in this test, in this test with this ammo, the nine millimeter pretty much did perform as well as the 357 Magnum. But that was with a greatly handicapped magnum round. So if we used a different ammo, we would definitely get different different results. But if you go with American Gunner, yeah, 9mm plus P is as good as 357 Magnum. As much as I don't want to say it, uh, but that's how this ammo is. So that's what you get. So comment, share, and like. And as always, thanks for watching.